Here's your host, Alex Garrett. So, Letitia James, Attorney General of New York State, you brought down Andrew Cuomo. You brought down or trying to bring down the Trump family with having a court order of Don Jr. of Ivanka and, of course, the big man Donald Trump, 21 days to testify. But I, I, in my research, maybe you could help me out, Attorney General James. I don't remember you ever looking at Thrive NYC and the failure that was under the de Blasio administration. More so, I don't remember you looking into where the money went when city council gets a report that only $30 million went to mental illness. Where the hell did this one point something billion dollar program, where did that all go? Did it go to the pocket? of Shirley McRae, New York's First Lady. She loves to say that in her username, by the way, NYC First Lady 109. Did it go there? Because I think if you're going to go after Cuomo uh, and you're going to go after President Trump, why not investigate for us Thrive NYC? And this was triggered today by this note from the Attorney General herself. She is actually investigating a couple, uh, the former HOME Inc. executive director, that's the Humanitarian Organization for Multicultural Experiences, home, uh, Shirley Goddard, the executive director, and her husband for nearly uh, diverting nearly $1 million over six years. If you're going to investigate one family or multiple families for embezzlement and misuse of funds in their organization, then why hasn't the hammer been dropped on the de Blasio family? Why hasn't the hammer been dropped on Shirley McRae? She led this thing. She dealt out the funds. And we're still wondering where, uh, you know, $850 million went. We're still wondering. By the way, now Mayor Adams has a plan today with Governor Kathy Hochul, the subway safety plan, to remove the homeless from the subways. Very curious to look into that a little bit more. But yes, leadership is a topic today. And on tomorrow's Adapting with Alex Garrett, because tomorrow I have a man named Jim Rafferty. He actually wrote about becoming an accidental leader uh, when the scoutmaster in his local town in Maryland got shot to death by their own by by the scoutmaster's son. Uh, It's a gripping story in the. We, we take to task the Boy Scouts of America, for sure, but it's about him becoming a leader, and I s- want to know from him, whether it be Cuomo, de Blasio, or even, yes, President Biden, who now is trying to get us through this Ukraine-Russia disaster. I mean, Russia's saying they pulled out troops only for us to say, well, they actually put more troops in, and they could be using false flag operations. We don't know where this thing's going to go, but I asked him about it. Uh, on tomorrow, and you'll hear that tomorrow on the pod. But today, today's portion of the leadership discussion, it deals with the fact that yes, Attorney General Tish James has taken big names and brought down Cuomo for sure, trying to bring down the Trumps. And I'm waiting for her to bring down the De Blasio family and administration. You know, one of the biggest things she did was actually sue the city based on tacticals, tactics used by the police. Tactics used by the police. Now, that is one thing. But I think New Yorkers would rather know from the Attorney General of New York State where the downstate money went. I think New Yorkers would rather know why... Thrive NYC was not working, why they only got doled out $30 million to combat mental health. Why crime is on the rise if Thrive NYC is so good. They were proud to roll it out like about a year into the administration, the mayoral uh, administration here in New York City. Very proud to roll it out. But, but, it didn't work. And money went missing. And it's time, if we're going to hold Governor Cuomo as a state, hold the former governor accountable, hold the former president 
and his family accountable, we must hold the former first lady and the mayor accountable. And by the way, did you know Mayor de Blasio has debt upon debt upon debt? That's something that maybe you didn't know. And some thought the congressional run would be to (laughs) raise money so he could cover some of the debt. It's how disastrous, policy-wise and financially. And by the way, he had this huge budget year after year. And Adams has a budget that says we're going to cut governmental waste. We're going to cut municipal workforce. I don't mind that. If you want to go smaller government in the city, fine by me. After eight years of a big swelled budget, go for it, Mayor Adams. But do it wisely. Not cutting the workforce, 1,430 workers earlier in the week because of the uh, vaccination status of hardworking cops who buried two of their own just in the last two weeks or so. That's not how you cut the workforce. So, uh, I, I applaud him on that. But I would also, well, I wouldn't push him because he's going to stay good graces with the mayor, uh, de Blasio. But I would just encourage city council members and assembly that want to look into the Thrive NYC to push AG uh, James to look into them. Figure it out. Because we can investigate. You've shown you can investigate well and thoroughly. And I think losing $850 million, I think having only portions of Thrive NYC's funds go to mental illness is a scandal. And it must be investigated. It must be looked at. It must be investigated. Because, you know, for... Tish James, whether you're office or not, you're going to be held accountable. You're going to be held accountable in NYC. And that should apply to the de Blasio administration. Please, Attorney General Tish James, investigate. Investigate. Because there's no doubt that we have to look into this. There's no doubt that the de Blasio family must be held accountable. And I just hope you you think about it, especially since you are suing couples for embezzlement. That is an eye-opener. And it's time to look at Thrive NYC once and for all. My little Fanatics Friday bit is Matt Stafford. What were you doing, dude? You win the Super Bowl. You get trolled by Brady. You and your wife troll him back. It's not Matt. It's Matthew. But what were you doing? You watch a reporter fall off the stage at the Super Bowl parade and walk away, say, oh, my God, and walk away. When you're supposed to be a caring guy, a philanthropist, that's troubling. That is troubling. I can't not address it here on Alex Gare Podcasting. You walked away from a reporter that fell off the stage or a photographer. And you're supposed to be this good guy. This comeback hero who won. And all you can do is, oh my God, and walk away. Well, Matt, I'm I'm very disappointed in you, Matthew. And, uh, And I hope that you do well by that photographer that fell off the podium at the Super Bowl parade. I hope you help her out. Because you didn't then when it mattered the most. I'm Alex Garrett. Fanatics Friday. I'm a fanatic about accountability and leader and holding leaders accountable. That's why I say Attorney General James, look into Thrive NYC and the de Blasio family. If you're going to look into Cuomo and court order the Trump family. 
Have a great night. It's a Friday night. Enjoy it and enjoy your weekend. We'll be back tomorrow on Adapting with Alex Garrett with Jim Rafferty, the accidental leader. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Stay tuned.